Shea Gilgis Alexander, future all-star. At only 22 years old, Shea has Oklahoma City on his back, averaging 23.5 points, 5 rebounds, 6.2 assists, and most importantly, shooting 51% from the field, as well as 40% from three. In today's video, we will be breaking down Shea's ability to score, and how he makes plays for others. Before the NBA, Shea attended Kentucky, and in classic Kentucky fashion, he started coming off the bench, but averaged 30 minutes per game. However, throughout the season, he slowly managed to earn a starting spot. Alongside fellow NBA players Nick Richards, Kevin Knox, PJ Washington, as well as his former teammate Hamadou Diallo. After their loss in the Sweet 16, Shea declared for the NBA Draft. Shea was drafted 11th overall by the Charlotte Hornets in the 2018 Draft before being traded to the Clippers for Miles Bridges and Picks. Shea's rookie season was similar to Kentucky. He originally started off the bench before solidifying his place in the starting lineup early in the season. The Clippers managed to secure the 8th seed and pushed Golden State to 6 games during the first round of the playoffs. Shea had a very notable performance in Game 4, dropping 25 points in the loss. Things seemed great for Shea. He was growing on a young Clippers roster, but Kawhi Leonard, after winning the title in Toronto, decided to sign with the Clippers in free agency, and then Shea was traded to Oklahoma City for Paul George. Shea is currently the main option on a rebuilding Thunder roster. He currently leads the team in scoring and assists so far during the 2021 NBA season. Now that we know a little bit more about Shea's story, let's get into the full breakdown. Shea mainly scores in two settings, pick and roll and isolations. Currently, pick and roll accounts for 34.5% of his possessions, and isolations account for 33.9%. Before we get into pick and roll, we will deep dive into Shea's ability to score in isolation, where he generates 1.04 points per possession. The most notable asset in Shea's game is his ability to change pace at any given moment. Shea has mastered the delay moves, performing a movement such as a between the legs, but waiting until the defense has relaxed before exploding downhill. Take note of his pace in this clip. He walks up and his eyes and body language are looking towards the middle of the floor, signaling to the defense he is setting up for some kind of middle on ball. He then just drops the ball through his legs before exploding downhill and drawing the foul. Let's rewind and take note of some more key details. For starters, the Thunder are running a double pin down for Lou Dort, so Dort arrives alone, with his defender trailing, making it difficult to set up pick and roll coverages. This action draws attention away from Shea, meaning they aren't ready to help, and once they do rotate, it's too late. Another factor in Shea's game is his ability to use his offhand on drive. Take note against Jimmy how he hangs, and his offhand is engaged, preventing Jimmy from being able to reach and again gain better defensive position. Such a huge key and a must work on for all players. To finish the quarter, Shea pulls it back and resets, before hitting the same delay between the legs move. The defense does a good job, so Shea performs an under drag, extending and rotating his right leg into Struess's frame before replacing his feet to attack middle as Struess's weight shifts forward to contest a pull up before finishing the tough layup. A few details here again, when you perform an under drag, it is vital to rotate your hip to face the rim and towards the defender. This will allow you to create some contact with the defender's hip and body to further your separation, as well as making it harder for the defender to stay with you, as your body language is indicating a drive. And on the finish, take note of the path that the ball follows. The ball does not go up and down, instead it follows a circular motion. A big key in these type of finishes is that it's quite hard to generate power going up and down. Instead power is easier to generate when following a circular pattern. Shea loves the in and out and uses it in a similar fashion to the between, performing a slow in and out before just exploding to the room. His ability to manipulate the ball against one pass away help is also amazing. Here we see him cuff the ball with one hand over the stunt before leaping off of his first step for the finish. Jumping from your first step is a great way to mistime the defense, as they assume you will take two steps, so leaping from the first means the defense is less likely to be in the air at the same time as you, making it much easier to finish. SGA has a great spin move as well. His ability to spin tight off of defenders and land on balance is excellent. A key mistake many players make is spinning away from the defense, and when they spin, they are wildly off balance. This is no issue for Shea, however. Check how he picks up the ball early, spins tight, uses his elbows to seal off Hardaway, and then jumping off of two feet for superior balance in the air 
before extending away. Shea is also elite at punishing switches, scoring with ease against the opposing team's bigs. One thing Shea often does is drag them back out to the perimeter after the switch before attacking again. Check out this beautiful rondo fake, showing the ball with one hand and waiting for Kleber to fly by before finishing. Again, he just resets out to the wing before performing a textbook drop, replacing his feet into an athletic position before driving hard and performing a tough Euro around counter for the reverse finish. Once you have the delay between in your bag, the defense is constantly thinking about it every time you go between the legs. Shea uses this, going between, between, between until he finally explodes downhill into the tough finish. Given Shea's elite pace, he is elite at creating in the mid-range. Against Kleber, he performs a regular drag, creating great separation into the pull-up. He can also stop on the dime into the pull-up. Off the cross, he just stops and pulls. Counter assumes he is going to continue floating the ball and attack again, meaning he isn't ready to contest, leaving Shea wide open. And in early offense, Shea dribbles to the wing before performing a heavy step. His back foot remains planted as he attacks space with his front foot, slowly moving into an athletic position before exploding. Murray is aiming to prevent a layup and is actively cutting Shea off, so Shea quickly pops into the pull-up. This, just as the previous clip did, catches Murray by surprise, leaving him wide open. Speaking of shooting, Shea also has a deadly sidestep game that fits perfectly with his ability to play with pace. And against Aiton, he just straight dribbles into it with rhythm, knocking it down over the 7 footer. As stated before, being the ball handler in pick and roll is Shea's most common play type. It currently accounts for 30.5% of his possessions, which he gets an insane 1.3 points per possession. To quickly explain points per possession, let's say you have 100 possessions in a game, and every single possession was a pick and roll with Shea as the ball handler. Throughout the game, you would have scored an insane 130 points on average. A solid point per possession number is 1, so anything above 1 is considered great. Shea's length allows him to score with ease over smaller guards. Against Atlanta in the infamous wrong uniform game, the Thunder ran double drags to try and get Shea matched up with Trey. He then uses his delay, whew, he then uses his delay between the legs to get past before performing another textbook spin against Trey for the finish. Melodon sets the drag screen here to get the Trey matchup, and again Shea expertly uses the between the legs to attack the gap as Trey is not fully ready for the switch and he attacks downhill, again starting off two feet on his finish for better balance and explosion. Speaking of this, the ability to finish off of two feet is vital. After splitting the hedge, Shea starts on two feet, which allows for better balance, which means he can adjust in the air to finish away from the help, here flying around Valentunas for the finish. Here note on the two foot, he points his shoulder towards Harold, so if he goes up, he can initiate contact, as whoever initiates the contact usually controls the situation. But he just flips it up beautifully with his inside hand. As stated, going off of two feet just gives you so much more options, and it is a must master for all players. Against Shea's pick and roll, teams often opt to hedge, to avoid mismatches against their smaller guards. Here Dort screens to try and force the matchup against Brunson, so Brunson hedges, sliding above the level of the ball screen before recovering back to Dort as Richardson navigates his way back around the screen, preventing the mismatch. But Shea being Shea still gets a bucket. One thing Shea does is attack into hedges and double teams first, which usually gets the defense to commit more in their double or their hedge, so once they deny, they are on the back foot. In the same context, Shea attacks towards the hedge, making Richardson ready to commit to a potential double before he denies downhill. He then executes a perfect punch drag, rotating and stopping on the same leg before replacing his feet quickly into the jumper. Shea is also a great playmaker, currently averaging 6.2 assists per game. Shea has great IQ, and he uses his pace to get into better positions to make plays. Such as in this double drag, Horford performs a run roll, running as soon as he sees his defender commit to Shea. Note how Shea keeps attacking Collie Stein, waiting until the last possible moment before whipping it to Horford. As stated in my Lonzo ball breakdown, passing in pick and roll needs to occur immediately or at the last possible second. Shea is slowly improving as a floor spacing threat, with catch and shoots accounting for 5% of his total possessions, which generate a solid 1.09 points per possession. Shea doesn't need to be an elite floor spacer, he just needs to be solid, 
His pick and roll and isolation skills are already elite, but given the way the Thunder are going, it is likely they're going to be drafting more and more young elite talent. So being able to space the floor on occasion and knock down open corner and wing threes will be vital for Shane moving forward. If you enjoyed this breakdown, you should check out my playlist of breakdowns. I have created breakdowns of teams and specific players. So have a look and see if any of them interest you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.